Hey, I'm Manny Pacquiao, and you're watching a GR Sports Brief. So look, folks, it's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. It's Fan Friday. It's all about you all and your comments. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You already know how to reach me. And don't forget to subscribe. You won't miss things like last week's Fan Friday, where I was on the set of Sports Nation in L.A. with my main man, Marcellus Wiley. Go ahead and click that. And like I said, subscribe. But we're not wasting any time. We're going into your comments. That's what the hell Fan Friday is all about. So I'm starting off with this first one via Jordan on Twitter. My thoughts on Derrick Rose saying he's the best player in the league. Well, I think uh, consensus says that LeBron James is the best player in the league, and we all know your main man Derrick Rose did not suit up and play at all last year. He took a year off to get his knee and his head straight. Now, I'm not mad at his confidence and him thinking that he's the best player in the league, but at least throw in this little tidbit. Say you have to go out there and prove it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he's healthy that he goes out and has another 2011 MVP type year. I'm talking 25 points, eight assists, maybe four or five rebounds. Go out there and do it again. And it's also ironic that he said he's the best player in the league while in that 2011 MVP season, some guy named LeBron James and the Miami Heat actually beat him on the way to the finals, which the Heat lost, by the way. So props to you for having confidence, but I say go out there and prove it. I think everybody wants to see Derrick Rose have a great year. Moving on to the next question for Fan Friday. It comes in via Enoch Nieves Colon. You got a lot of last names, brother. He says, can Alfonso Soriano contribute the way the Yankees hope? Well, I think the Yankees just want some type of offense because outside of Robinson Cano, they've been playing with a bunch of garbage men. Everybody and their mama's been hurt. Alex Rodriguez, we're not going to talk about him because everybody's tired of him. Derek Jeter's been hurt. Curtis Grandison, Mark Teixeira, Alfonso Soriano, his 17 home runs, 50-something RBIs, and all his swings and misses will definitely help the Yankees out unless he comes back to the Bronx. And then he says, hey, I'm just going to collect the check and go on vacation and the best case scenario for the Yankees is that they make it as a wild card. And that's the New York Yankees. They're playing with a bunch of trash guys right now. And the last question for Fan Friday comes in via Controversial McGee on Twitter. Which second year quarterback will improve the most? Well, we all know about the guys who got attention. Colin Kaepernick, he's going to have to win a Super Bowl. Russell Wilson, he's going to have to kick more ass. RG3, he'd have to go out there, be healthy, and throw for 4,000 yards. So when you talk about improvement, I think Ryan Tanner Hill will make the biggest jump. Last year, he had about 3,200 yards passing. I think he had 12 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. He fumbled the ball around five times. But this year, he has Mike Wallace, who will go deep. We all know his ass is not crossing the middle. They have Brian Hartline. They have Dustin Keller, or he has Dustin Keller as a safety option. Lamar Miller. I really expect Ryan Tannehill will have a better year than what he did last year with all of those damn turnovers and interceptions. I'm looking for more touchdowns. And by the way, make sure you go ahead and watch yesterday's video about the top six quarterbacks this season. This is JR's Fan Friday. It's all about you all and your questions and comments. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Do it. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I could wait forever, but I'll catch y'all later. Have a great weekend. Peace.